Hello, my name is Robert McKnight. I am a game development student, and today I will want to teach you about the particle system in Unity and how to make a simple, basic, cartoony looking fire. So we start off like this, and we get something like this. That's our goal for today. This will use nothing else except for the particle system, no scripts, no nothing. So, to show you how I got there, we're going to knock down the start lifetime to about 1. We will then have our shape as a cone, but fires don't really spread out like this, so we want them more in, more inwards and together. So, these balls are just a texture floating around. They are the default ones in Unity, but you can get other textures from free texture websites and make these effects look even better. But for now, just, with, just for something basic, we're going to learn just with these. So this speed affects how fast and slow the balls will go. Putting this into world space, these balls will go on without the particle system. However, if we put it back to local, the particles need to stay with it. This emission determines how many balls we have Let's get in a little bit too ahead of ourselves here, so we don't really need that yet. So, what's very useful is this color by speed, sorry, color by lifetime. This color by lifetime, you make this any color you want. Transition into any other colors you want. So, for a fire, we're going to want to start, like... One pretty pretty far red. I'll just click here, and we will bring out another one. Another one of these selectors on the bottom, right there. It'll bring some out. Usually, it's kind of fidgety. Some of us doesn't want to. But um, now we're gonna get some some yellowish orange. Get that right there. Uh, yeah, we're going to get some orange. So, this looks really bad. This right here. Them just disappearing. People will notice that. Doesn't look visually appealing at all. So, what we can do is knock this all the way down, and now they just fade away. It's much better and more visually appealing to fade away than it is to just disappear. We're going to make sure it doesn't disappear too fast, so we added some of these because from here it starts going from 255 of the alpha all the way down to zero over here, so these will start falling fading out up here, even though we want them to completely fade out up here. So we're going to have this at like 90, just up here resting with this at zero, so they'll fade away really fast up here. But that's alright, We they shouldn't fade away that much up here. So we're going to take another one, and we're going to make some smoke. It's going to be some grey smoke. And because it's so low alpha here, you can't really see it. So you can play with it a little bit. That is way too far up. You can also put this down here. Oops. So, as you see, we're going to actually set this to gray as well, because we don't want it 
transitioning into white. However, at that point it should be, you'll see nothing. So at this point we have something that looks really bad. There's just, it's not fire. It's not, it's not enough. It's usually intense. So we're going to just increase the amount of, like, of round of the spheres, textures coming out. And they'll all spawn down here and rise up with the speed and the direction of the cone to make a nice fire effect. This can be done with other textures, it's just this is the most easy and looks very good in cartoony style games. So, what we can do now is put it to world space and looks alright, doesn't look the best, but if you have a torch and it's a really cartoony game, this would be pretty cool. So, one more thing we can do is put velocity over lifetime, which will, it will, it will offset this by uh, whatever value you give it, but we're not going to do that. Put this back to local. And this start color. This start color controls the start value of the of the sphere particle. So what we can do is just usually set this white and have the color over lifetime do it because it gets tricky when you have say a blue and you want to have it red down here it doesn't quite work out the way you think it might because <coughs> excuse me because it's trying to put red over top of blue which is not red it's this reddish color dark really dark red color so we're going to put that back And have let's try more mission. There we go. It looks like a pretty raging fire there. It's looking pretty good. You have random directions. If I went to box, you can have random directions. And it could be a gaseous cloud now, I guess. But Playing around with these things, all these things, all these bars is how I personally learned what all they do. And I can't cover what they all do in a five minute video. It's supposed to be a five minute video. However, I recommend playing with these, see what they do. Just, if you mess around enough, you'll get something that looks really cool that you d did not expect that you'll get. Particle effects are pretty fun. And they're not that hard. So, that's me talking about particle effects. See you guys next time.